Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we are a bit behind, uh, but not to worry, we're finally <laughs> doing the readings. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in uh, supporting our channel, you can find our Vmail or PayPal, as you guys can see here, as well as in the description uh, box below, as well as for those of you guys that are interested in scheduling appointments, readings, uh, spell work, anything like that, you'll find all of that in the description box below on our online store. Uh, also, I want to give a quick shout out to, give me one second, because we have new supporters on Patreon, um, Cynthia Guerra, as well as Celia Marufo. So thank you guys so much for supporting our channel, my lovelies. On there, on Patreon, I'm going to be doing... Uh, one free reading every month. So if you are uh, a patron of ours, I will be announcing on my channel, letting you guys know. I'll also reach out to you and let you know if you are the winner uh, to schedule your appointments, okay? All right, let's get to the needy greedy. Let's see what's going on for the month of August, 2022. This is gonna be for all zodiac signs. We're gonna start off here with Aries. How are you doing, Aries? How are you? freaking doing. Hope you guys are doing amazing. I have been experiencing a lot of craziness in my life on a personal level. Um, I think everyone's being triggered uh, substantially um, in many different aspects and it is challenging positions right now. So again, um, do not despair if you're going through difficulties. Um, everything in life is temporary, you guys. So uh, the beauty in that is knowing that it, this shall also, um, this also will pass. So, all right, let's see what's going on. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for the month of August? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Aries. All right, your first card here is the Nine of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So you, I see you guys really, um, you've been challenged. You've been going through a lot of difficulties. This could be uh, in regards to family or family dynamics. It could be not being on the same page or having a bit of disagreements. However, it is talking about you've paid your dues and you've gone through, uh, even gone through difficulties where you didn't really show it or you didn't really express what you were going through. It's kind of like, um, going through the storm and going through it alone. And a lot of it has to do because you're stubborn and you find it difficult to show weakness. Um, but you're overcoming these obstacles. You're overcoming and being able to find somewhat of stability, not only in, like I said, in the family dynamic, if you guys have been experiencing a bit of challenges there, um, they're also speaking here about um, making the, taking charge in the decisions that you make for the month of August. So what I mean by that is be more assertive, Aries, um, in any decisions that you make. Uh, don't be the type to be indecisive. The more indecisive you are, the more um, you go from one point of view to the other um, and, and not fully making the decision or the choice Um you leave room for uh, errors. And what they're telling you right now is, right now is the, the time and place to be laser focused um, about what you want and your goals and aspirations. So again, don't let the difficulties or the challenges with those around you uh, distract you from where you want to go, where you are now to where you want to go. Um, and this could be for some of you guys, even relationship wise, you feel like, uh, you know, they, they're, you guys are not being on the same page. And, and I see you kind of trying to wrap your head around everything that's going on. But what they're telling you is right now is not the time to be distracted. Let those things that are out of your control unfold the way they're supposed to and primarily focus on what it is important and what you are able, um, what you are able to control. Uh, I do see you guys making headway. So in the month of August, 
again, try the best you can not to be distracted, stay focused. Uh, and whenever, whatever situation is going on in your life that you feel like you're being challenged or um, like things are out of your control, the more you think about it or the more you stress about it, the more energy you're putting towards that blockage. Remove that. Try to change um, the energy uh, or your way of thinking about the situation and primarily focus on the things that you are able to control at this point in time. That's how you're going to make way. That's how you're going to break through those obstacles. Um, Knight of Pentacles is an indication of finally getting on the up and up and again feeling like things are becoming a little bit more stable i do feel for a lot of you guys uh it's almost the feeling of chasing a goal um and it comes at a cost of something so for some of you guys it could be like i said having difficulty with the family dynamic for others of you you're being challenged mm -hmm. in the aspect of when you're starting to make headway in your career in finances your relationship starts to be challenged um, but what they're telling you is, again, I cannot stress this enough, don't focus on what you cannot control right now. Focus on what you're capable of controlling and how you react to certain situations. That's going to be the key um, to make headway for the month of August as well as to break through those barriers, okay? All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus here. How are you doing, my beautiful Taurus? Hope you guys are doing amazing. What changes are coming for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages for Taurus for this month of August 2022? August 2022. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. We have the Nine of Wands. Six of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Hmm, similar cards to Aries. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries. So what they're showing me here is you're finally going to an elevation, Taurus, that you've probably never experienced in the past. I see that you've been through a lot of difficulties. You've gone through a lot of lessons, and this has left you a bit guarded but it has also served its purpose of making you wiser. And I feel like at some point there was a situation where you felt like your future was very uncertain and there was fear behind that. For some of you guys, this could be like coming out of a relationship where you felt like you solely depended on the partner and then things happen where it made you feel like just like they're here now, they may be gone tomorrow. And this created a, a, a bit of the desire, the want of self-independence or being able to rely solely on yourself. Um, now, this doesn't have to be with relationship. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you felt uh, like there was a tight grip in the family dynamic or in the relationship with your friends where you thought it was solid but for some of you guys you went through a situation where that stability was broken or or put into question and you didn't want to rely on others anymore it, it was something within you snapped where you realized that you solely want to depend on yourself because at the end of the day, you're the only one that you can rely on. And this lit a fire under you. This really gave you the courage, the, the power of taking your power back and realizing what you're really capable of doing. And for the month of August, I see you guys really being more assertive. I see you guys being empowered you're going into this new cycle with the laser focus um, of your goals or what you're trying to achieve. For some of you guys, if you've been working at a company for a very long time and they haven't given you the raise you deserve or the position that you deserve, I see you guys in the month of August being aggressive in how you show others the type of work or the ability that you have to execute something. So again, you guys are being assertive. You guys are being a bit on beast mode. 
And with this, what's happening is you're taking your power back, no longer relying on others, but at the same time, you're putting in the work that is necessary to not necessarily show others, but to demand respect or demand admiration or demand your, you know, people noticing your work ethic. And there is an elevation that's happening here, Tori. So my advice for you guys is for the month of August, like think big, do what you have to do to not solely show other people, but to show to yourself what you're capable of doing enough of like, um, playing it safe enough of like um, not really challenging yourself because you're comfortable, enough of that. This month, use it as a means to prove to yourself what you're really capable of doing because the moment you realize that and the moment you take your power back and the moment you start putting the, you know, putting the savagery in everything that you do, there is going to be no doubt in anyone's mind what you're capable of doing. And you'll even come across people that will open new doors for you. So again, I do see major success here for the month of August. It's going to pave the way for you guys for the near future or the unfolding future, um, giving you opportunities that you thought weren't even there. So again, do what you got to do to make things happen this month, Taurus. All right, now we are going to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's unfolding for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How are you doing, Gemini? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys are not being challenged the way I've been challenged the past couple of months. Oh. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Can they expect for this month of August 2022. All right, here we go. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor card, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. All right, Gemini. I see you really being more mindful of your spending or being more mindful of the money that you're making as well as the expenses that you have. There is almost a, a need to reevaluate certain expenses or to really pay attention to the way you choose to make the way you choose to spend your money. Now, with the 4 of pentacles, there is a bit of reserveness, there is a bit of really counting or being being very guarded in how you spend your money. With the Emperor card, it could have been that there is need for structure. I see you guys really having difficulty with this. It's almost like the way you make the, the, the same way you make the money, it goes out. And there is almost this feeling of overwhelmingness, a feeling of not being able to find your footing. Um, but what they're saying is that it has a lot to do with your everyday life. So what I mean by that is everyday life could be as routinely as as an example. I myself I'm a smoker and every, you know, every so day or so I have to buy, you know, cigarettes. Um you don't think much of that because it's something that you do on an everyday basis, but if you really take it into account and you look at that that in itself is an expense and is it an expense that is necessary or is it an expense um, because you just on a whim like to buy coffee every single day? Um, it's more expensive to buy a coffee at Starbucks as it is to make in your home. Do you see what I'm saying? So there is something that there is a need for balance when we're talking about your finances in this month of August. Now, I do see opportunities opening up for you. I do see you... Um, being able to make more money, but you got to jump on those opportunities. You cannot let those opportunities pass you by. Specifically, um, with the Eight of Swords here, there is almost this inclination of really discarding your intuition when it comes to your finances. And what they're telling you here, Gemini, is if you learned to pay attention to your intuition, something that feels right, 
is more than likely going to bring to you success. Um, but stop doubting or questioning too much. Um, doubting yourself is what you need to work on. Not doubting yourself, I mean, is what you need to work on. Learning to listen to your intuition and learning to make um, learning to make decisions that are, like I said, you know, the, the example I gave of, you know, instead of buying coffee every single day, you can make coffee in your home and th there's less of an expense there. You need to find um, balance in regards to your finances because if you don't, I do see unexpected expenses coming up that you're not prepared for. So again, be careful with that. Now, for some of you guys, if there was a recent purchase or some type of that you moved to a home or to an apartment or something, um, be careful as well because I do see some type of leakage. It could be like um, as simplistic as like the sink is leaking, um, but it can also become something where it, it's, like I said, it's an unexpected expense that may come up for the month of August. So be mindful of that, okay? All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Cancers? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2022. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2022. Here we go. Oh, all right. Here we go. Cancer, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Death card, and the Seven of Wands. What is it, Cancer, that you are fighting, that you are holding on to very tightly, that you're refusing to let go of? There is a situation here where you've overgiven yourself or overextended yourself. There is a need to completely cut off a situation or completely let go of a situation that is not going to turn around. And there is this desire and this hope that it's going to turn around, that things are going to fix themselves. Um, and the more you go about ignoring this, the more difficult it's going to be for you. Why? Because you are at a point where there was a need for you to balance how much you give to other people and how much you receive from other people. Now, this is a general reading. For some of you guys, it could be that you have a tendency of over like taking too much um, or over allowing other people to overextend themselves to you. Um, sometimes, you know, venting to people and, and, and them always being there for you is it becomes almost second nature to us sometimes. And when that happens, it puts you in a position of them feeling like you're ungrateful. And if this is you on the other end, like I said, that has a tendency of expecting people to be there because they've done it so many times, you need to understand and come to the awareness that it's not that they have to, it's that they choose to. And when they are in need, even if they don't tell you that they need someone to hear them out or that they need some type of help or assistance, it is only common sense to be there for them to let them know that they can count on you because they've done it so many times to you because I feel like someone in this situation is a bit fed up of a situation of dealing with you in regards to something where they feel like you keep taking and taking and there is no gratefulness behind it now it could be misconstrued or a misinformed miscommunication that's happening but that's what they're feeling now if you're in the other side um and you're the cancer that has a tendency of over giving and over being there for people and it puts you in a position where you become a doormat where they know that if they call you at three in the morning you're going to answer their call regardless of what's going on in your life and that puts you in a position of yes people will think of you when they need you but when they're doing fine and dandy, they completely forget about cancer. So you have to learn to give and take. You have to learn to protect yourself and protect your energy. And there is a refusal of doing that and then hoping for the best. But what Spirit is telling you is no cancer. I've taught you so many lessons. I've shown you and revealed to you certain people's intentions. 
based on those actions, you need to take that into consideration and not allow them to continuously keep crossing your boundaries or to continuously keep taking from you, whether it's energy, time, money, whatever it is. And you need to stop refusing that, stop excusing that it's them, that it's their behavior, because your behavior is to continuously keep letting them act in such a way that makes them feel entitled to your energy because they're so accustomed to it. I hope that makes sense, okay? All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Leo. My Leo's out there. Happy birthday. What are you guys planning on doing for your birthday? I have a beautiful sister. Her birthday is, well, she's a Leo. <laughs> what are you guys planning on doing? Comment below. Let me know. Brightest of blessings to all of you guys that are turning another turn of the sun. It's always a blessing. All right. Spirit guides. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What can they expect for this month of August 2022? Here we go. All right. We have the King of Wands, the Hierophant. Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. All right, Leo. I see you guys challenging or being challenged in regards to your upbringing, in regards to what you were taught was right and was wrong. You're being challenged in the sense of not allowing your loyalty to be to make you a slave to the people that you love. There is almost this awareness of you, right? Because the king of wands, this is your energy, Leo. But the king of wands, what's really standing out for me is the crown. And that speaks to me about the crown chakra, right? The information that is transmutated and that is channeled, right? There is an awareness. There is something that you understand that is no longer working for you. And with the Hierophant, this could be family, this could be friends, this could be loved ones that are around you. And there is a questioning of why do I always end up with the short end of the stick? Why do I, why am I the one that has to deal with other um, people's dramas or why is it that when I create boundaries or when I say no or when, like, when does it become enough, basically? It's like I give, I give, I give, I give, right? <clears throat> and after all that giving, you get to the point where you want to be catered to, where you want to be understood, where you want to feel validated or acknowledged or appreciated for everything that you do. But yet... They don't. And Eight of Swords is becoming a slave to what binds you to the people around you, whether it's love, whether it's admiration, whether it's respect, whether it's responsibility, right? Um, whether it's your brothers, your sisters, your family, your mother, your father, your even your children. It's like there is almost a, a, a need to regroup, to re-energize your energy, to transmutate your energy. Because it's almost like I feel you being or feeling like you're caged. And the reason why it feels that way to you is because the love that you have for the people around you. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with toxic energy. For others of you, you may be dealing with people that have a tendency of taking and taking and taking and not appreciating. Um, and for some of you guys, you're being challenged to create a boundary and to stick with that, to no longer allow people um, to make you feel shitty because you decide one day that you want to get away 
right? You want to go to the beach and spend the weekend over there. But who's going to give a ride to your sister or to your cousin or like people depending on you? And it's like, I don't care. I just need to get away. Yeah, but what's going to happen with this or what's going to happen with that? And it's like, it's a feeling of feeling stuck. Because there is this imbalance. There is this energy of when do you get? That's what I'm hearing and I'm hearing it very loud. What, when do you get? When is it your turn? When can you, when is Leo allowed to be selfish? Now I know Leos have this reputation, right? But I also know that Leos have a tendency of being overly loyal. And sometimes it's not necessarily a good thing, especially when other people are solely relying in your effort, in your energy, in your money. So the month of August is asking you, are the beliefs or what you've been taught or how you've been raised, are they helping you? expand your awareness are they helping you be a better person because if they're not and ultimately what's making you getting you to the point of feeling like you're sick and tired then it's not doing it, it's it's not a good thing and you have to learn to start creating boundaries you have to learn that it's not always giving it's not always your responsibility it is not always about you leo providing or taking care of Sometimes other people need to step up and you need to allow them to do that. Now, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, I'm going to tell you this. Whether you're a male or female, if you are continuously allowing your partner to feel like they could rely on you, like you're the one that will fix everything, like you're the one that's going to um, worry about that bill or figure out what's going to happen with the house or figure out like being the one to step into the masculine energy, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. It's getting you to the point of pushing you, I should say. It's pushing you to get to a point of losing respect for your partner. And that's not a good thing because Leos are a fire sign. And what that means is that admiration or respect is very important to you in a partner, right? Yes, passion and desire, but some type of admiration. And the moment you start to see your partner less than because they're not stepping up or because they're not doing what they're supposed to do, you start to, you know, resent them and push them away. And the more you push them away, it'll get to a point where you lose interest because they're not doing their job. They're not doing their part. So again, the month of August, it's going to challenge you in the aspect of, you know, is, is it really worth it? And if you're getting to a, a point in your life where you're feeling resentful, where you're feeling unhappy, where you're feeling binded, where you're feeling like you cannot grow and expand, it's time to make certain changes, Leo, and stick with those changes. Either people get with it, and if they don't, Swing the door wide open. All right, my lovelies. All right. Now let's go to Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. How are my crazy Virgos out there doing? Don't take offense to it, Virgo. You guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> I have Virgo placement, so I know all about that. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's going on with Virgos for the month of August 2022? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo's energy was extremely heavy, you guys, and I just went into Virgo and I feel the energy completely change. All right, we have the High Priestess here, the Magician. Wow, Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, my lovelies. Wow. There is a lot of manifestations that are going to be unfolding for you. There's something you've been hoping for or wanting or asking or praying the universe for, and it is finally coming through for you. I feel that the month of August is all about socializing and contact. So what I mean by that is 
if you're trying to take your career or your finances to the next level, it is important to um, be open to connecting with different people from different walks of life, from different positions, different jobs, different careers. Why? Because at some point, they may open doors for you that you never thought were there or that you never thought would help you at some point in your life. Now, there's a lot of expansion that's coming up for you guys here. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're psychically feeling it. You feel like there is a shift. You're feeling excited about something. You just can't put your finger on it. Uh, there is this energy, this renewal type of energy. And there's a lot of celebratory type of energy here as well. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is definitely Jupiter's energy. And Jupiter is, you know, go, go big or go home. It is about expansion. It is about growing. Right now, you are extremely powerful for manifestations, Virgo. So my advice would be write down goals, um, things that you're trying to achieve, things that you're trying to manifest, uh, whether it's, you know, trying to manifest your home, uh, trying to manifest, you know, to buy your first house, like really do visualization exercises, get to the point of knowing exactly the type of flooring you want in your home. All of this is going to help you. Why? Because high priestess and the magician there is all about the manifestation it is all about the you know the spiritual it is about the multi-dimensions it is about being able to as within so without as above so below the manifestation the desire that is within you to be able to see it here in the physical aspect so and the three of cups is celebrating uh, that achievement or that manifestation or that growth that's coming in Wheel of Fortune is you've been down enough or you've struggled enough. Now it's time to experience what it really feels like to feel accomplished or to be able to see a goal being accomplished. Um, so right now, you know, specifically August for you guys, it is all about manifestation, Virgo. So visualizations, um, water manifestations, anything like that is really going to help you make way. For those of you guys that run your own business or that work um, that work in a company and you've been working there for a very long time, now it's the time to share your ideas. Now it's the time to speak up, to take center stage, to allow people to see you in a different light and to also allow them to see that you're more capable than the credit they give you for Virgo. Beautiful energy here, you guys. All right, now let's go to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libras. Libras, how are you guys doing? Oh, okay, we have the Emperor card here. I'm going to put it back in there. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2022. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Libras? Okay, here we go, right at the bottom. All right, Libra, you have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords, the Magician, and the Emperor. Wow, came out the first time. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. So there's something that you've been hoping for or that you've been wanting to see take flight. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of like a little bit of setbacks when we're talking about finances and career. Um, for others of you, it could be that you've been waiting to hear from someone from the past. Uh, there is this, you know, holding on to some type of hope, something that really made you feel like everything is happening because it's supposed to happen. Like there is a greater knowing, a greater knowledge um, trusting the universe type of thing. And I feel like you guys have been on this road where you've been tempted or you've been guided towards different directions, but this has served its purpose. So what I mean by that is if there was a situation where there was some type of pulling away or a feeling like what you thought would happen ended up happening the opposite. As an example, if you were in a relationship and you thought this was like really strong and powerful connection, all of a sudden you found yourself like being pulled towards different directions and it seemed like 
you, you guys couldn't just get on the same page. Um, but yet you were still holding on to that desire, that hope, that wishful thinking. Um, what they're telling you is that in the month of August, there's going to be a lot of revelations that happen, Libra. There's going to be a lot of clarity, a lot of things that, you know, you've viewed as setbacks. Um, they're coming to the forefront and it's, it, it's the understanding that the higher knowing of why it happened the way it did. So for some of you guys, this could be revelations in regards to secrets or things that were being kept in the hidden that finally come out to the open. It makes more sense. And you're able to understand uh, the other person's perspective as well. And for some of you guys, there is also um, a reunification here that's happening. So again, Ace of Swords, the Magician and the Emperor, Whatever you've been hoping for or wanting to see unfold is finally unfolding. And it's bringing the structure or it's bringing the connection and the strength of the connection to the forefront. Um, so it's almost like what they're showing me here is like things falling into place and everything making sense. Even if at some point you felt confused or you felt like you weren't really sure what was going on, it starts to make sense. And there was... Again, if you're dealing with a situation with a person that it didn't work out the way you thought it would, there is almost this destiny stepping in, crashing you guys, on the, like pushing you guys towards the same path because there are things that are still left undone or unsaid that need some type of closure. For some of you guys, yes, this could be the reconnection. This could be the things falling into place and making sense and realizing that it wasn't one-sided. Um, now, for others of you, especially in the career front, um, there is an elevation. There's a higher elevation. There's an opportunity that comes to you, and it may come to you in the second to third week of August where you feel much more confident about yourself and your capabilities. For some of you guys, this is a higher position that is being offered to you. And it comes, again, as a surprise to you. But there are things that were happening behind the scenes where maybe in the past you felt you were being overlooked. And it wasn't that you were being overlooked. It was just that they were keeping a close eye on the person that had that position. Um, finally realizing or things coming out to the open that that wasn't the right person for that position. So it lands on your lap, literally. There's unexpected news about a higher elevation of position. This could be an incentive. This could be a bonus that comes to you that you were not expecting. So again, positive, positive um, surprises unfolding for you for this month of August. All right, now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. How are you doing, Scorpio? Hope you guys are doing awesome. What are the messages that we have here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For the month of August 2022. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. We have the Emperor card, the Magician. Wow. Five of Wands and the Lover's card. Ooh. Interesting, Scorpio. I see you guys trying to stabilize a connection. Um, there is a desire or a want to take it to the next level. And there is a feeling of frustration because the partner is not wanting um, or not reciprocating that desire, that want. Um, it's almost like hoping and praying that, you know, one day they'll wake up and they want that commitment. But what Spirit is saying is the commitment is there for you. Unfortunately, it may not come with the person that you're with. So it's kind of like the situation where you're hoping and praying that you want to get married as an example, because you fear that you're, that marriage is not in your cards or that marriage is not in your destiny. And spirit is telling you, it's in your destiny. You, you're just holding on to people that are not working out, holding on to people that are not going to give you that commitment. So there is a need to reevaluate 
what it is that you want from this connection or this relationship. Because I'm going to be honest with you, with the Magician and the Five of Wands, there is, especially the Emperor, is stubborn energy. It is holding on to something or someone that refuses, that continuously keeps keeps refusing um, to change their mind or to want what it is that you're wanting. And with the Five of Swords here, it's like you're holding on because, yeah, I'm sure you love them or you care for them, but you're holding on because you've held on this long, because you've gone through so much shit with them, because of this, because of that. So essentially, it's not that you're holding on because you love them and you believe in your relationship. It has more to do with ego-based because they put me through this and through this. Through, it has to be worth it in the end. So the more you hold on to that or the more you continuously keep putting effort in the relationship, you're often feeling like, you're empty handed or you often feel like you are unhappy because they're not giving you what it is that you emotionally need to make you feel satisfied or happy in that relationship. And I see someone extremely stubborn, um, someone that is just, you know, they've locked in their heels in dirt and they are just not going to be moved. So at this point, what they're telling you is there is you're at crossroads. There is a decision that needs to be made. And whether you choose to continue on this path, are you okay with not having that stability? And if you refuse to settle and you decide, you know, I'm not, if, the, if they're not going to ever settle, then I'm walking away. It is a decision that you have to own. You cannot go back on it because then, their learning experience or them knowing your worth is not going to change if you temporarily remove yourself from the situation only to come back. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, for others of you, there is this, for those of you guys that are single, I should say, there is this desire, right, to be loved unconditionally, to be accepted unconditionally, but we have to do some work within ourselves, Scorpio, because oftentimes, if you really think about it and look back, oftentimes you have a tendency of giving your love conditionally. It's like if they don't, you know, if, if they don't give me um, the attention I need, then they don't love me. And it's a conversation that you bring up. Well, you must not care because you're not trying or you're not putting effort or, or this or that. And not to say that unconditional love is healthy because in some situations it's not. It's not always healthy. Unconditional means no matter what, right? And that's not always healthy. Sometimes our lesson is to learn to love ourselves first because if you love yourself and you care for yourself, you're not going to allow anyone to mistreat you, to take you for granted, to take advantage of you. So there is something that needs to happen, and this is directly to those that are single. There is almost the desire, the want, yes, I want a relationship, but you kind of shy away from it as well because you feel like, you know, I, I, I have very high standards. And it's not, it's, it's not really about high standards, what Spirit is saying here. It has a lot, of, it has a lot to do with ego-based with what you've experienced in the past that you refuse to heal those parts of yourself where you've put yourself in this position of empowerment, but in reality, it's hindering your love life because there is a difference between knowing your worth and refusing to be mistreated or refusing to settle. Um, and it's a completely different thing when a person is being genuine and authentic with you and you thrive off of making making people feel like they could never attain you or like you are more than them. Do you see what I'm saying? And I feel like it has more to do with ego-based and more of mind games. So again, there is a, a need to be truthful with ourselves, especially if you are trying to manifest some type of commitment, some type of long-term relationship here, okay? All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to... Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
What are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2022? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, how are you doing, Saggies? I'm going to put it back. How are you guys doing? Okay, what are the messages for Sagittarius? There we go. Oof. Oof. Okay. Heavy energy here. We have the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, the Sun, and the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, you're going through a situation where there could have been some type of breakup or some type of separating, some type of separation, some type of mourning the loss of a relationship. I feel like for some of you guys, it could be that there was a recent breakup, a recent separation. Um, with the Sun card and the Eight of Pentacles, there is definitely reconciliation, the opportunity to reconcile Sagittarius, but... For a lot of you guys, this could be a situation where every time you guys break up or every time there is some type of challenge in the relationship, um, this is primarily for those that have a tendency of breaking up and going back with each other, breaking up and going back. The thing about it is that when the person is not there, meaning when they're, when the separation is happening at that moment, at that point in place, you have a tendency of romanticizing the relationship. You have a tendency of looking at the fact that they're not there, so you miss them, and you start thinking of only the good times or the good moments that you've shared without, like, without really seeing it as a whole picture. It's like... Again, they're telling me there is a romanticizing type of energy here. There is this feeling of, oh, because they're not here, um, I miss them, I love them. Oh, we were so happy. It's like, were you really happy, Sagittarius? Because the Three of Swords indicates to me there's been some type of hurt or betrayal. And with the Five of Cups, it's like, if you think about it, it's Five Cups, there's three there, and there's two behind. But that indicates to me that it's not the first or second time that it's happened. So are you really, like, are they really good for you? Or is it only when you feel that you are alone or that you have to start over, this fear overcomes you, that you're able to overlook everything else that they do that is negative because you're solely focused on the fact that you don't want to deal with being alone or being single. It's almost like this feeling of when you're in a relationship or when you are with them, there is this constant hurting and instability. But the moment they remove, they remove themselves from the situation, it's like you miss them, you miss them, and you're only thinking of the good, ignoring everything else. Ignoring everything else. And what Spirit is telling you is you are, it's time that you learn to love yourself, Sagittarius, the way you've taught yourself to love other people. Because it's, it's almost like, and I wouldn't necessarily say like you accept them with all their flaws and everything because you don't. Clearly you don't. That's the reason why you struggle in the relationship. But what they're saying here is you don't quit. And the reason you don't quit is because I'm sure there's love behind it. But there is more of the fear of what if other things don't work out? What if in the end... I don't find someone else. They, and this is on a subconscious level. So there is a fear of abandonment. And in that fear of abandonment, every time they leave, it's almost like you're reliving that feeling of knowing that at some point they were going to leave you. And that's what hurts the most. So that's what blinds you to forgiving everything that they do. 
And what spirit is telling you is instead of chasing them or instead of hoping that they're going to change, why don't you start working on yourself and loving yourself and enjoying your free time and finding yourself all over again, Sagittarius? Because I feel like for some of you guys, this reading, especially those of you guys that have been in a committed relationship for a very long time, and it just hasn't stabilized. It, they're asking you to put that faith, that hopefulness, that love, and pour that onto yourselves. Because only through doing this will you be able to not only not allow people to disrespect you or to hurt you or to betray you, and it becomes something that is very normal because it's not normal. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've, you know, molded yourself into the situation where you don't even know who you are, Sagittarius, because of this relationship. Now, for others of you, it is the tendency of allowing people to mistreat you and let you down because there is a almost like a, a desire or a want for happiness, but feeling like you can never attain it. And in that fear of feeling like you're never going to attain it, you will settle with what comes. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is work on yourselves for this month Sagittarius and if there is a break or some type of separation or for those of you guys that are single right now enjoy your free time because you'll find that the more you keep yourself busy and doing the things that you love you'll come to the realization that you deserve so much better not only that but that you're able to attract so much better all right my lovelies all right, now let's go to my Capri's. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this month of August 2022? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, Capricorn? How is life treating you? All right, so we have the three of pentacles here. Collaboration is going to be very important for you guys for this month of August. For some of you guys, this is socializing. For others of you, this is um, networking. Networking is going to be opening up a lot of opportunities for you guys for this month of August. All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Tower card. Holy moly, guacamole. All right. So yeah, like I said, there is almost this need for you guys to be a little bit more proactive Capricorns and being a little bit more social. There is almost this feeling of like uh, being very out of sync, maybe very detached from people, from situations, from circumstances right now. Um, and the reason for it is because you've chosen for quite some time to become like to be in solitude or to become almost like hermit vibes, um, just focusing on what you're doing and really shutting out the whole world. And what Spirit is telling you that in doing this, it's fine when you're doing it because there is a goal behind it. But if you're doing it just because you feel like you don't want to deal with other people's dramas or you don't want to deal with people in general, um, what Spirit is telling you is finding yourself in solitude for, for far too long is not necessarily a good thing. It's kind of like the people that have a tendency of over meditating. The reason why they over meditate is not because of the wanting to meditate, but it has more to do with the wanting to, as a form of escapism, trying to escape the reality of what's happening. And I feel like for some of you guys, Deep down, there's this feeling of, you know, feeling alone or feeling like you're not understood or feeling like you're just very disconnected from the world and what's happening right now around you. Um, so what Spirit is telling you is there is a need for you to become more social. Also understanding that, yes, surrounding yourself with negative people sometimes impacts us. But surrounding yourself with positive, optimistic people or people that inspire you 
uh, creates a fire within you that makes you want to like keep achieving. And it also, you know, raises your vibration because you're being inspired. So again, what they're telling you is there is a need to be inspired because I, I'm going to be honest with you, Capricorns. I see you guys quite bored. And what Spirit is telling you is it's been bored for a bit, but things are going to quickly change where, again, for some of you guys, out of nowhere, there's a point of contact or there is someone that brings to you an opportunity, some type of offering that is going to shake your world. And when I mean world is this could be in connection to finances. This could be in connection to romance and love. And for others of you, this could be in connection to your career. But there is this almost like boredom type of energy and not really wanted to deal with people. But they're telling you, go out there, connect, socialize, network is the word I'm hearing very loud. Network. Because this is going to open up a lot of opportunities for you where it's really going to be transformative type of energy because we have the tower here. I'm going to pull out another card for you guys here. Spirit guides, please clarify the tower card here. Why is the tower card here? Clarify the tower card here for Capricorn. Yep, see? That's the exact energy I was sensing, you guys. The Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands. This is Jupiter's energy. This is a representation of a blessing that is coming to you that is unexpected. There's been hope and desire to see something happen, something exciting, or something that elevates your career or your finances. With this tower card, it's definitely here, and it's going to be unfolding for you guys, and it's going to be unfolding for you guys very quickly. But again, network is the word. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What can they expect for this month of August 2022? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with you, Aquarius? How are you guys doing? Just chilling, waiting for your reading. <laughs> All right, here we go, Aquarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups. Wow, Aquarius, what the hell? Okay, so there is unexpected love coming your way, Aquarius, whether you're single or in a relationship. <laughs> Be careful. There's two aces. So this is an indication of a complete transformative energy. This is a new beginning for you guys. For those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, the door is finally open. Where at some point you felt like, what the hell is going on? Why is my love life non-existent? Or has someone cursed me? Spirit is telling you, no, you just needed to grow. You needed to learn certain things. You needed to learn that sometimes it is necessary to give in order to receive. You see these two aces hand in hand giving each other. There is give and take. So again, the road is being open for you. There is a new beginning that is unfolding where you thought things were, you know, a bit stale or not as exciting. Um, Spirit's been knowing what you've been wanting, what you've been desiring when it comes to partnerships. And that's finally coming through for you. And I'm hearing for a lot of you Aquarians, especially those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, there's a major shakeup that's coming to you. There is a connection, and this is a deep connection. For some of you guys, this could be soulmate type of connection with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There is love being offered, an opportunity, an invite for some of you guys this month of August that comes out of nowhere. For some of you guys, could be in connection to someone that you work with or someone around work. For others of you, could be a connection between a friend that tries to hook you up with someone, but it is unexpected invitation. So again, do not be surprised that in this month of August, you find out that someone's been keeping an eye on you and they're definitely interested and they are definitely taking action towards making that happen. They see you as the prize Aquarius. And again, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, um, do be mindful because I do see that there is there's an element of surprise in this connection. So again, you're not expecting this type of connection. If you are in a relationship and you feel like there's been 
um, the weathering of the passion or desire, um, I would tell you to be wise and careful because there is temptation to step out of that connection. Um, but primarily the message here for you guys is love is around you and it is coming towards you whether you're ready or not. There is a give and take type of energy here which is very receptive energy and it speaks about an elevated type of emotional connection um, which is maturity and reciprocation, the giving and taking, the understanding. Um, so very exciting news for you Aquarians. When that connection happens, you guys come back and let me know. I want the cheese man. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit what are the messages for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, so here we go. We have the Nine of Swords. The Ace of Cups, the Star, and the Queen of Wands. There's something that you're deliberating, Pisces. There is, I see you really mentally going over something, trying to make a decision. For some of you guys, it is the decision of whether to continue on, you know, moving forward in a connection or relationship that you're in. Um... I feel like you've been challenged and it's something that you've been dealing with in the past. Um, things start to become a little bit better in the month of August, but they are telling you that you need to be honest and truthful to yourself, Pisces. Ace of Cups is obviously emotional fulfillment. Um, with the Nine of Swords, there's lack of emotional fulfillment here. With the Star card, there is in almost like an elevation Um of yourself so whether this is awareness whether this is um understanding and being completely honest and transparent with yourself it's almost like being unapologetic about what you want and no longer like making excuses to remain as an example to remain in an unhappy union or in an unhappy relationship at this point in the month of august i see you guys really choosing your happiness or choosing what makes you happy and not apologizing for it anymore. I see you guys becoming more aggressive in your pursuit to happiness. And I see you guys really fighting for your happiness, even if it comes at the cost of making other people uncomfortable or making other people um, unhappy. I feel like there was this, you know, type of um, martyr type of energy in the past and there is a again a new awareness that happens where you're like you know what I'm not gonna be in this unhappy marriage just because of what my family may say um I'm not gonna settle or I'm not gonna allow them to continuously keep disrespecting me or to make me feel like I'm the one that has to carry the relationship um at this point whether it's been 10 years or whether it's been two years in this relationship at this point, I've seen that they've not taken it to the next level or that they're not putting their effort and I'm choosing my happiness. And if I choose to be free and I want to be free, this is what I'm doing. It's like there is this aha moment that happens for you where it's complete transparency about what it is that you want and what it is that you want your future to be. And I see you guys being unapologetic about it and being straightforward and being extremely confident in your power and in the decision that you're taking for this month of August. So for some of you guys, it could be embracing a new love. For others of you, it could be getting to the point of, you know, completely detaching yourself from a toxic environment or to toxic relationship, but you're choosing you, Pisces. And uh, this is a beautiful thing because we should always um, aim or strive to going and choosing and pursuing our happiness. Whatever that is to you, go for it. Because at the end of the day, no one can live the life for you. You must live it yourself. We learned. That's why there's lessons. Um, but ultimately, don't put the blame on other people because they refuse to change. The blame comes to the decision that you've chosen to remain there. So you're the only one that can call it quits, walk away, or choose you. 
and choose your happiness wherever that may lead you, Pisces. All right, my lovelies. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, share. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, definitely subscribe. For those of you guys that are subscribed, thank you guys, my lovelies. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.